The clip you're about to see is quite disturbing. Even though we tried to blur it out, it's still pretty messed up. After a Syrian Christian bishop, Marmari Emmanuel, was stabbed mid-sermon. The attack live streamed to thousands. That is so disturbing and terrifying to see on video. That someone would literally walk up to a man of God and begin to stab them in front of their congregation. In front of live viewers. It is his wish that everyone resort to private prayer and to not escalate the matter any further. The church is cooperating fully with New South Wales Police in all strike force investigations currently underway. Now you may wonder, what did the bishop have to say? Because he's alive. Apparently he's healing quite well after being stabbed multiple times. Listen to what he has to say. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Um, this is Bishop Murray Emmanuel um, addressing our beloved faithfuls, whoever you are and wherever you are. We need to understand that we need to be always thankful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For whatever trials and tribulations we go through, uh, we are carrying the cross. Let us not, not, not forget that at all. The Lord Jesus said to us, if you do not carry your cross every day and follow me, you are not worthy to be my disciple. We thank the Lord Jesus for what took place in the last couple of days. Um, uh, I'm doing fine, uh, recovering very quickly. We thank the Lord Jesus. So there is no... No need to be worried or concerned. Uh, and a piece of advice to our all, uh, our beloved faithfuls. I need you to act Christ-like. The Lord Jesus never taught us to fight. The Lord Jesus never taught us to retaliate. The Lord Jesus never said to us an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. The Lord Jesus said, never return evil with evil, but return evil with good. For well, this is our master, our teacher, our leader, and our good shepherd who leads us to green pastures and still waters. Come on, I love that. Did you see that? After he is getting stabbed, he's recovering, and now he's giving this message. Don't retaliate, don't attack, love your enemy, do good, resort to prayer. At the church where their colleagues became targets, police were back today looking for the rioters responsible for Monday's mayhem. It broke out after a Syrian Christian bishop, Marmari Emmanuel, was stabbed mid-sermon. The attack live-streamed to thousands lit a match in Western Sydney, but before police could even get the alleged teenage terrorist out of the church, the 16-year-old's identity was being shared on chat groups. This kid has been poisoned. His name is These kids have been poisoned by a monster that has the radical dash mentality. Today, his parents didn't respond to that claim as they packed up and left their home. Is there anything you want to say about your son's actions? Do you think he was radicalised by someone at all? His family seeking guidance from local Muslim leaders. You would never have seen a more humble, simple father than this, 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 um, the boy's father. He was distraught. He would not go home. He was scared to go home because he thought he was going to get arrested. Did he see the signs? He said no. All he saw was a troublesome t a teenager who wasn't listening to his father. Well, I mean, that sounds like a sign, right? I mean, if it's a troublesome teenager that won't listen to his father, that seems quite like a sign. But guys, I think you all can see this is definitely more than maybe a mental illness or something like that. That right there is straight up demonic assault. That is straight up the devil trying to kill this man. I don't know if you know who this bishop is, but I've seen him multiple times on social media. People taking clips of his sermons and releasing them. And I've been touched by his sermons. I've been touched by his boldness to declare the Lord Jesus to the world. So obviously he's getting the devil mad and the devil found someone that he could enter into, just like with Judas. The Bible talks about the devil entering into Judas and then Judas betraying the Lord Jesus. This boy was an open vessel. He's confused, he doesn't know the truth, and now boom, now he goes and attacks and tries to murder this holy man of God. I'm not gonna tell you that Muslims are all evil and wicked and wanna kill Christians, but isn't it interesting to see how many 
terrorists in the name of Islam are killing Christians all around the world. Could it be that they've allowed themselves to be open to demonic power to then go and murder those who call on the name of Jesus Christ? Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13, 8. Love never fails. Whatever has happened to me personally, I thank the Lord Jesus. It's, it's a huge blessing for me. I, uh, I forgive whoever has done this uh, act. And I say to him, you're my son. I love you. And I will always pray for you. And whoever sent you to do this, I forgive them as well. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, I have nothing in my heart but love for everyone. Whether that person is a Christian or not, that's uh, totally beside the point. The Lord Jesus always taught us to love one another. Love God and love your neighbor like yourself. I say, you are my son and I love you and I'll always pray for you. That's the response of a man of God. Not only to say, I forgive you, you wicked terrorist enemy, you are my son and I love you. It's almost as if Jesus is speaking through this man to him. That Jesus himself is speaking through this bishop to this man who tried to kill. And he's saying, I love you, you're my son. Come home. May we be encouraged by this. I don't know who went and rioted. I could not imagine people in his church rioting and jumping on police cars. If anything, the devil tried to wild that up too. But this man is an example for all of us to forgive those who persecute us to love them to bless and not curse to do good and not evil god bless you